an acre to turn these things around, or you have to shunt backwards and forwards like your little sister learning to drive. Okay. Now it's crunch time. What I need to do is get big feet down, crunch into the low box, then half the speed of the truck but doubles the amount of torque that the engine makes. Around about 500 horsepower each these trucks. Seven and a half litre big block V8 petrol engines. Onto those we've got three speed racing gearboxes to give us the strength. Okay. Now it is audience participation because if you don't make some noise, this tough little car might not come in half. This chain, massive 40 ton braking strain on these chains. Peter's got the chains on, Grip Reaper's ready to go. Are you ready? You want to see some damage? Yeah. Oh. Give your head a check, will you? See the three legged dog legs later than you long. Come on! You want to see some damage? Yeah. Okay! Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> My truck jumped out of gear. Oh, oh no, that's sorry. Oh, jumped out of four wheel drive. My teeth have jumped out. Let us bring this down to this have a look at it. I thought it would be a bit tougher than that, to be honest. See, I don't like French cars. But as a mark of respect for my grandpa's recently passed away, he didn't like Japanese cars. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now it's crunch time. What I need to do, ladies and gentlemen, get strapped down into the five point four inch wide harness. Straps go over my shoulders. Two straps across the lap. And the most important, but I want to be painful of all the crotch strap, comes up through a hole in the seat, right between my legs, and it's this strap that on a hard landing stops me from sliding out the seat and ending up in a ball under the brake head. Okay, that's the hardest off. Temperature's starting to rise quite rapidly on this engine, so. Helmet on. Finally, the next race. Every single time we drive, this truck 